What? Oh my, oh my gosh, guys. We got a buffalo over here. You have a mint mark there as well. D. It looks like a D. Yeah, that's definitely a D. And we will flip this over to see what the date is in three, two, one. Hello everybody and welcome back to another coin roll hunting competition hunt. In today's competition I have a new opponent. I was getting kind of tired of kicking Kevin's butt anyway so I invited my girlfriend of three and a half years onto the channel. Everybody welcome Deborah, or as she will be known from here on forward, Debo. Hello, thanks for having me. Just in case you're new here, the way that we do nickel competitions is take this $100 box of nickels right here, divide the rolls up 50-50, and then look through the rolls and whoever finds the best stuff wins. So in case you didn't know, we're going to be using this score sheet here. So if you have a Jefferson nickel in the 50s, that's two points. In the 40s, that's four points. In the 30s, that's five points. And if you want, you can pause to see the rest of the scores. Then at the end of the box, whoever has the most points wins the competition. So guys, here is our $100 box of nickels. Opening it on up here, we actually have quite a few interesting enders. Starting over here with this one. This is one of the most bizarre enders I have ever seen. I don't know what happened to that coin, although it does look like it could possibly be older. Only the reverse is affected, I believe, so maybe we'll get a date off of that. Just a super weird one. Uh, then we also have an older looking coin right here. It doesn't have a mint mark, but I suspect that that is going to be a pre-60s coin, which is gonna be worth some points. So we'll have to figure out who is gonna get that one. And then we actually have four more reverse enders, which I believe are gonna be toss-ups. They could be older, could not. There's two of them right there. And then we have two more right here. Let's take a look at these ones as well. Yeah, those look like they could be older, but it's hard to say. So uh, I think this is definitely gonna be an interesting box though. Lots of good enders right off the bat. So out of those enders, Debo and I both grabbed three a piece and we'll be doing those first. And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, divide up the rest of the rolls and we'll get back to you in just a sec. All right guys, we got the rolls all divided up now. We have 25 rolls a piece and we are ready to jump right into this one. We're gonna start right off the bat with two of the best enders. This one I'm almost positive is going to be a pre-60s coin that's gonna put me on the board. And uh, Debo actually opted for this super weird one. I think that's probably the coolest ender out of all of them. I have no idea what that's gonna be. It could be uh, an older coin as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into these here and uh, get this competition kicked off. Yeah, take this off. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess that two gloves probably does make it a little difficult to I uh, pulled the coins apart, I didn't think about that. I can't. All right, guys, uh, I'm looking at this roll right now, and there's actually something more interesting in here, I think, than that ender. Do you see it? Do you see what I'm looking at right there? It's just a really thin edge. Oh, yeah. Right there. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be anything. I'm gonna take a chance on it. Oh, uh, no, it is just gonna be a Jefferson. I thought that might have been like a Buffalo or, or a V-Nickel or something. That would have been a really nice way to start the hunt, but let's just grab that ender off. And uh, actually, yeah, I see that See that darker edge right there yeah. that you got going on? That has some nice color to it. That may actually be uh, a war nickel. So I'd be interested to see that. Let's take a look at this one first. No mint mark. We'll flip it over to see what the date's gonna be. All right, nice. So we're on the board with two points, 1954. That's a nice way to start the hunt for sure. So this is the weird ender that I got here. I'm about to flip it over to see. It looks like it's it could be older. Special. Yeah. Uh, it's no. like yellow. It's got some weird tint, tint to, to it. it. Yeah, but it's nothing special. It's 1977. Yeah, we can get the date off of it. 1977. Now, I would suspect that coin maybe was in a laundry or a parking lot. I'm not sure, though. That is a super weird looking coin. I kind of like it, though. Yeah, I, I definitely <laughs> hold on to it. It's cool looking. Yeah. So, All right, let's see if there's going to be anything else in these rolls. So... Hey, make sure you're on camera over there so we can see it. Uh, I'm just checking mine real quick here. I'm not seeing anything that's looking super old. Although you did have that one with the, some color to it. I think it was. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can if we can get that on camera. That that's some a pretty nice dark uh, color right there. You want to check that one out? Yeah. Let's see if it's gonna be a war nickel, which would be worth like eight or ten so points. Here's the back of it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's definitely not a war nickel. It doesn't look like it's gonna be older either, but mm -hmm. I thought that one definitely had a chance, but yeah, 1982. Yeah. All right, so let's see what else we got in these rolls. Just going through the rest of mine over here. That's a 62 right there, close. And uh, I think you, I, I've totally forgot to go over this, but I'm pretty sure you know what to look for, right? I, oh, I've done this before. 
ones so, before on the lives, so I kind of... Yeah, so we look for anything pre-60s, so anything in the 50s, 40s, 30s. Of course, Buffalo nickels are, are pretty uh, obviously different when you see them, yeah. V nickels, anything older like that. But in addition to that, we also look for 2009s. That is one of the things that does come up uh, every once in a while, and it does count for points on our score sheet. Although I only average about mm -hmm. one per box. 1962? Yeah, I actually had a 1962 as well. That might have been the same one. I might have just thrown it over to your side on accident. No! <laughs> but uh, 62s don't count for points. We don't uh, count anything after 1960. Oh, wait. Oh, that definitely looks older. Well, maybe. Hopefully. I guess we'll have to see. Here, let me, let me zoom in on it a bit. Flip it over to the other side. And you can't really see. Uh, I think it's here. Side. Or this way. It looks like 78. Yeah, it looks like um, 78. I thought it might have been a 38 for a second there. That would have been a nice one to find. That one looks older too. Oh, it is. Oh, nice. shoot. <laughs> so there is another find right there. Here, I'm zooming in right there. 1957. Nice. So that is going to put you at two points. The score is going to be two to two. There we go. Going into roll number three. All right. So, once again, I have one more ender to show here. After that, we'll stop opening them live, but... Uh, here's the... Here's mine. Yep. And, again, I don't, I don't have a high confidence in any of these. Like I said, that last one ended up being a 60. Let's take a look. Mine is a 64, so that was the same as yours last yeah. time. And, uh, fun fact, 64s are actually the most common uh, nickels ever minted, so... Uh, they are not something that you want to see. I'm trying. Let's take a look and see what yours was. It on this side? It was or? on this side. Okay. It's, I'm just struggling. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that's the one right there, okay. isn't it? Yeah. So here it is. And that might be older. We'll see. Mm. Could be a 58 or something like that. 64. 64. Oh man. <laughs> so three of them ended up being 64s, and one of them was a 69. Not the best, but anyway guys, get into the rest of them here, see what else we can find. Alright guys, so we will just double check to make sure, but uh, other than that, we'll just get back to you when we make another good find. Alright guys, so we are on to the very next roll. I'm just gonna snag this from you real yeah. quick, because I do have a find here. It's nothing, probably not gonna be anything too crazy, but you can see right here we have a 1946, so let's take a look at that one. Now uh, this is probably going to be a fairly common date, especially if there is no mint mark. Yeah, so no mint mark down there on the right hand side of the Monticello. That's just going to be a 1946 Philadelphia worth four points. That brings me up to six. six. Oh. No. That definitely looks older. Where? That. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> that, that almost looks like a war nickel, guys. Let me show you what I just found here. Isn't there like a P on... Oh, no, I don't, yeah, I don't see a mint mark, but it sure looks like it could be. And actually, this one next to it kind of looks older, too. I feel like that's definitely going to be pre-60. Let's take a look, guys. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, look at that. 1942. Hey. But And this would be a war nickel, but it's not. It's a 1942 non-silver variety, which... Uh, if you didn't know, 1942 was the transition year for the war nickels. So some of them were made uh, out of the regular uh, metals that they used before making war nickels. And then some of them were made with 35% silver. This one is not going to be a war nickel, even though it certainly looks like it could be. Now this is going to be worth four points. So that's going to bring me up to 10, as that is not a low mintage uh, coin. But it is interesting, no doubt. Uh, that one next to it was a 63, so not going to be worth anything. I don't have anything. Yeah, you got to catch up over there. I know. <laughs> Every single time. But also, like, I remember on the live, remember? Like, I, I was far behind, and yeah. then I got, like, what was it? A war nickel. Yeah, you got a war nickel, and then you also got a buffalo. Yeah. In the first few rolls of nickels that you ever looked through, you found a buffalo yeah. and a war nickel. So. so, I, you know, like, I'm just going to go... Take some time. You it'll, know. it'll come in time. There's got to be something good in, in this Hopefully. box. Hopefully. Does this one, does this count? Oh, heck yeah. You got a 19, what is that? 53. 53, okay, sweet. So I thought it was a 55. You'd have a chance at a key date there. Let's see if 53 has any in the low mintage range. 
Uh, yeah, actually, looks like you do have a chance for a low mintage right there on a 53S. Uh, none in the key dates, but uh, yeah, let's bring that up to the camera there here. I'll, I'll try to zoom in for you there. There it is, 1953, and we're gonna flip this over, see if it's a San Francisco, and turn this from a two-point coin into low mintages are worth 10 points. So that Ooh, would actually... That, that would help me a lot. Yeah, that would bring you up pretty nicely. So, all right, let's see what we got here. Three, two... And one. What is that? That's a mint mark. It's a D, though. It's a D. Okay, yeah. so it's going to be a two-point coin. It's better than so nothing. <laughs> that brings you up to four, and I'm currently sitting at ten right now. Okay. Found something here. You got something? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, all right. It's a, it's a youngin, 1958. <laughs> Actually, I think you may have a chance. Yeah, take a look at this, guys. Another chance. Yeah, another <laughs> chance for low mintage. You can see right here, 1958 Philadelphia is a low mintage coin, and this one actually comes out more often than you would think. So let's take a look at this one. We have 1958. Here, I'll uh, zoom in on it here for you. So 1958 right there, and uh, if we have no mint mark on the back, you got a low mintage coin. Once again, 10 points. Let's see if you got it. Three, two... And nope, nope, it's gonna be a Denver. So two more points for you. That brings you up to six. But you're definitely catching up. I think that that was a good roll for you. Oh, I got something here, no! guys. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna be taking another lead here. Look at this. So we just got a 41. And uh, you know, I think we have about equal number of coins. It's just that I've been getting more out of the 40s, where you're getting more in the 50s. So I got a 41 here. We'll flip that over for a mint mark. And there is none, so that's just going to be a four-point coin right there. Fourteen. So I got three four-point coins and a two-point coin. That brings me up to fourteen. Look at this booger. <laughs> oh, that is that's real nice. <laughs> and that's why we wear gloves, folks. Yep. I think I might have something here. I'm going to check real quick. It's one of the last ones in this roll. It definitely looks older to me. Yeah, let's take a look. Three, two. Oh, I'm so sorry. That is a really nice date. It doesn't have a mint mark, but actually if you had the 51 Denver, that would be a low mintage. 51 San Francisco is actually a key date, uh, but as you can see, no mint mark on that one. So that one's just gonna be worth two points, but definitely a nice date to see. I wish we would have pulled it out uh, obverse up because that would have been a fun game to play. Uh, disappointment, but either way, that is going to bring us two points, Richard. It's going to bring me up to 16, and you are at six. So you just need a 10-point coin to be right back in this one. And it looks like this box is, uh, it does have some potential, I think, for having low mintage coins. We've, we've had a lot of chances here. So we'll get on to the next one and see what we can find. Yeah. Hey, actually, it looks like we have our first Canadian here, guys. Uh, it's not going to be worth any points because it's not old enough, but... Still cool to see it come out, just three years off of being a 99.9% .9 nickel, Canadian nickel. Uh, this one's made out of copper and nickel, but 1985 is the year on that one. First Canadian so far. All right, I think I got another Canadian over here. Doesn't look like it's gonna be old, but we'll see. No, definitely not old. Just based off of that obverse right there, it's got some boogers on it too. <laughs> uh, but let's see, 1993, what the heck, come back. 1993 is the year on that. So I'll put that one to the side. Have you found any Canadians yet? I have not. I haven't found anything. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's some older ones over on this, older looking ones on this side. And actually, yeah, it looks like we are going to get another one here, guys. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> so we have a 41 once again. Let's flip that over the reverse. And it's plain, so it's going to be another four points for us. Okay. So 20. Put that right on top of the other one. I think we're gonna check these out real quick. That's a 64 and that's an 84. So nothing else on that side, but I'll let you know if there's anything going on on the other side of the roll here. Meanwhile, I think I'll just move the camera back over to this side, see how things are progressing. So let me know, how, how are things going over there? Um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really found anything. So how are you liking nickels compared to pennies? Um. <laughs> I think I had more um, luck with pennies. Well, other than the one live stream that you did with nickels where yeah. you found a ton of stuff. Yeah. I know that you're more knowledgeable on, on pennies. You yeah, pennies are 
but I think it's a lot easier for pennies because also like for example like wheat pennies like if you know it's a wheat penny because the other side like it just it's completely different right yeah. um <clears throat> so like things like that it just makes it a lot easier for like to look for, through pennies yeah i mean but, jefferson nickels have been basically unchanged since 1938 so it's yeah it's, it, that's why there's so much good stuff left because people don't realize that those older dates are desirable i also get excited when i see a buffalo but then i'm like mm -hmm. oh yeah the, the newer buffaloes yeah because yeah. i'm like maybe right. <laughs> maybe it's something all right you're probably not gonna like this <laughs> but i think i have another old one over here on this side <sighs> i am so sorry i don't know why it keeps ending up like this. This definitely looks older. Let's flip it over to see what we got for a date. Three, two, another 41. That's another four points, guys. That's our third 41 Philadelphia on the box so far. Oh my gosh, guys. No, I didn't even <laughs> open mine yet. <laughs> I, I feel so bad. I really want these to be more even and I don't know why they keep ending up this way. But I am excited at least to check this one out. To 1952. Let me bring this over to your side because I want to check the list. So we have low mintages. 1952S would be a low mintage, and I think that's it. So that's what we can hope for over here. So let's uh, show it once again. 1952. We're looking for the San Francisco for the low mintage. Let's see if we can get it, guys. Three, two, and we have it. No, why are you serious? 1952. S. Okay. It's going to be worth 10 points. Man, that would have been nice if you could have grabbed that one. That brings me up to 34. And then you've been on a real dry streak over there. It's, <laughs> you're at six points still. You have on three 1950s coins, guys. That's our first S mint of the box. And of course, it had to come out on this side. Uh, all right. We'll keep going here, guys, and see what else we can pull out. At least now we know that this box is capable of holding low mintage coins. Maybe another one's gonna show up for Devo. Okay. 1953, guys, I, okay, yeah, we could get the 53S for a low mintage. So in the same roll, can we get a 52S and no. a 53S? No. Let's see what happens. No way. Three, two, one. No, okay. it's a 53 Philadelphia, so two points on that one. Okay, just calm down. I I haven't opened mine yet. <laughs> Take a breather. Oh, I found a Canadian. I I have a find over here as well. Cool. Okay, never mind. Which I didn't think I was gonna get anything out of this roll, but yeah, let's let's see that Canadian. It looks looks pretty. That is a newer yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see the date. Two thousand one. Okay. So here is what I grabbed. As you can see. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we do have a 2009. It's not in great shape. It's a Denver. And that's going to be worth five points for us. That's why you look for those, because they do come I, up. I'm looking um, 41 <laughs> points. Yep, brings it up to 41. Push We're still that. at six. Running through the six. With my woes. With your woes. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll, you know we'll how that stuff goes. All right, guys. We got some interesting color on this one. Let's take a look, just in case. Oh, it definitely looks older. Yes, sirree. That looks old, guys. It's a Denver reverse. Let's flip it over. 55. 55 Denver is going to be worth two more points. So that brings me up to 43. This is an extremely lopsided box. I am very upset about that. <laughs> Don't be upset though, like you're doing really well. Yeah, but you know, I want to spread the wealth, you know? <laughs> I'll get there. Some, uh... I didn't even open mine yet. You see on this left side, there's there's some weirdness going on. Like, yeah, like there's ashy two. Ones? Yeah, <laughs> I've never heard a nickel described as ashy, but yeah, <laughs> basically. And then right next to it is something else that... Okay, that's nothing. That's a 98. What about the one under it? No, 2000s. So nothing Nothing. There special. you go. Okay, that's good. No, I'm talking about how you don't have anything yet. Oh, I thought you were talking Sorry. about the color on that one. Look at oh, that. I guess. It's something. It, I don't think it's a war nickel. It's, you're looking for like a dark gray. That's more of like a blackish color to it. Let's see what, uh, what that's going to be. 
Right there. Oh, man. I thought he had a buffalo there for a second. That would be cool. Yeah, bring it up a uh, little bit. Uh, it might be like a um, metal detecting find. Yeah. Could be older, though. Let's see what the date 84. is. 84. Oops. Yeah. 84. Okay. So that's not going to cut it, unfortunately. All right, guys. I just opened up my next roll. Uh, I think I have an older one once again coming out. Let me just get down yeah. to it. Actually, you know what? I'll let you. One. Yeah, let's let's Oop. take a look at. Oop. It's more like a dark red color. Okay, it could, so could be never anything. Mind. Well, let's let's take a look. I'm interested. Well, it's uh, kind of all over the yeah. place. Yeah. So it's this one right here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that's gonna be. Yeah, 2004. Okay, so not older, unfortunately. No, just a 2004. So guys, I have one over here. Just seeing the reverse. Probably gonna be older. Let's just flip it over. Yeah, another 53. How much is that? Two points? So the, yeah, that one's two points. It's not uh, low mintage or anything. Okay. So 45. 45 to six. six. You've Why had do it. we say that with like <laughs> <laughs> such sadness? I mean, that's just like a, a very, very unlucky dry streak right there. Yeah. Of the likes which I have not seen in a long time. So I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's I'm, okay. At least it's an even number, you know? Right. So I'm not, I'm True. just trying to think of the positive True. right now. I'm actually going to have to take the camera. Of course. <laughs> because I do have another find here. Uh, this is actually similar to the, I think the last coin that you found. It's another 1958. Um, if this ends up being a Philadelphia, it will be a low mintage worth 10 points. Otherwise, it's just going to be worth two. Let's take a look here, guys. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Is it a Philadelphia? It is a Philadelphia. Oh my god. No mint mark there. So that one's going to be worth 10. Brings me up to 55. Unbelievable. Well, you know what? If you get a V nickel, though, you will be ahead of me by one point. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but you know what? It's totally possible. I haven't found a V nickel since uh, like 2018. But it is totally possible. It could happen. Let's 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 hope that it does. What if I found a shield nickel? How then about you that? would you would definitely win. There's no uh, coming back from a shield nickel. <laughs> although I've never been able to actually find one before. Yeah. All right, coming down to the end here, guys. Uh, we have what looks like maybe another old one. We have a Denver on the reverse. Let's flip that. Bad boy over. That's a 64. All right. So we'll get on to the next. 47. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Look at that. So that actually, take a look <laughs> at this. 47, I do know, yeah, that you do have a chance for low mintage right there if you get a San Francisco. And then I'll get 16 points, but we'll see. All right, let's, uh, let's zoom in a bit here. And there we go. And flip that over to see what we got. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so that's, that's going to be... Points. That's a four-point coin. Oh, it's snap. in the 40s. Okay. Oh, I should probably put that <laughs> <Yeah>. over here. <laughs> so you are at 10. Into yeah, the... there we go. Welcome to the double digits. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Maybe there's going to be something else in here. 54. Oh, look at that. Okay, this is the roll right here. You are on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <it>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I don't think that this is... No, this doesn't no. end up in the low mintage or yeah. key dates. So, but either way, what do we have for a mint mark? It looks uh, like you got D. okay, fifty-four Denver. Yeah. So two more points right there. Unbelievable, guys! <laughs> I think this is number four. I saw the reverse first. No mint mark. Yeah, that is nineteen forty-one Philadelphia number four. Very common date, and they're all worth four points. Oh, you got something? Yeah. Let's take a look. Fifty-four. Uh, fifty-four. Okay. Yeah. So that was the last one you found too. Yeah, so two points. Uh, yeah, uh, but we can check the mint mark just to just because I'm case. curious. Uh, yeah. so D. Okay, I think that's the same as the last one. Yeah. That's not the same coin exactly, is it? No, I swear it's not. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> so yeah, 1954 Denver's worth another two points that brings you up to 14. Yes. And I'm at 59. That is unbelievable.
What? Oh my. What the heck? See, you do this. You always do this. Oh my gosh, guys. We got a buffalo over here. What the? Okay. Should I pick it up? Yeah, yeah, let's okay. do it. Oh, that's sweet. Coming out right at the end, too. Let's zoom in here. Unfortunately, I don't think... Oh my gosh. Actually, you you have a mint mark there this as well. D. It looks like a D. Yeah, that's definitely a D. Okay, so there's a lot of good stuff you could find. If we take a look real quick here, low mintage buffalo nickels. This is what you're looking for because this, actually, I know we were talking about a V nickel before, but if you look over here, low mintage buffalo nickels are also worth 50 points. Okay. So that would put you in the lead. This is an unbelievable turn of events if you can get that. So we do have a Denver mint mark. That means that you may have a low mintage. If you didn't have any mint mark, you wouldn't have a chance because the no mint mark Buffalo nickels do not make that low mintage list. <laughs> Guys, this is, that's a nice looking one too. I yeah. think you're gonna get a date off of that. All right, so ready? Let's, uh, let's zoom in on it a little bit here. Let's bring it, just make sure that the lighting is perfect <laughs> and we will flip this over to see what the date is in three, two, one. All right, here, let's bring Oops, it up sorry. right there. 1934. 1934, okay. Right. Let's oh, check the 1934D. list. No way. <laughs> Are you joking me? 1934 Denver is on the list. As soon as I saw the 30, I was thinking probably not, but that is actually going to make the low mintage Buffalo nickel list. How do you feel? <laughs> That's amazing. It's pretty cool. <laughs> 34 Denver? <laughs> So wait a minute. Like I said earlier, that's gonna bring you up 50 points. You're at 64 now. There we go. And I am at 59. <laughs> I'm trailing by five points after that. Holy, holy cow. Let's just, let's leave it at that. Wow, that is unbelievable. Okay, so guys, we each have two rolls left to go. This is basically neck and neck at this point, although you are ahead by five, which is kind of difficult uh, to make up in just two more rolls. That is unbelievable. I'm so proud of you for that. That is <laughs> Thank sweet. You. All right, guys, we are getting into our last couple rolls. You still have some coins here yeah. in your third to last. Sorry. Let's see what you got going on. I don't think there's anything else here. Well, we'll see. I'm going to double check for 2009s because that would tie it if I could get a 2009 here. Well, let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything else. All right, and neither do I. So our current <clears throat> score. Debo is at 64 with that low mintage Buffalo nickel find, and I'm at 59. So that is, that is unbelievable. All right, so we each have two rolls left to go. I'm gonna just try to center this here, and let's see if we can do these last rolls live, because I think it's really gonna come down to the wire here. <laughs> it's neck to neck. Definitely, all right. <laughs> so here is my second to last roll. I'll go ahead and open it up. Man, that is an awesome find. We didn't even get any key dates. I, we're gonna have to check the book on that one to see what the actual mintage is on that. Uh, because, you know, we do have that list of low mintage buffaloes, but it doesn't give you exact mintages. So definitely interested to see what we have there. All right, getting into my second to last roll and Debo is opening hers on that right side there. Let's see what we can find here and see how this one's gonna turn out. And I'm, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm, I don't know how this one's gonna go at this point. So I feel like you're probably gonna get something. We'll see, I, I guess. Yeah, actually, I think I might have one here, guys. Um, let's take a look at this one. So, just real quick here, I have a Denver mint mark. Let's flip that over. Yeah, 55 Denver. How much so, is the 55 Philadelphia would have actually been Let's see, yeah, that would have been a key date, but it's a fill, it's a 55 Denver, so it's just gonna be two. Oh. So that brings me up to- 61. 61, I'm within three at this point, guys. <laughs> it's definitely a close one. And that helped, but it's not gonna be enough if that's all I end up getting. So let's see what else we got going on here. All right, this one looks kind of old. Nope, it's a 95. Oh, 63. What do we have here? 77, not gonna count. Got anything over, oh. That scared I just dropped, me. I just dropped one. Oh my gosh, I still can't get over that 34 Denver. I didn't think that was gonna make the low midges list. I thought it was all like teens and 20s, but yeah, 34 Denver's on there. Got it's crazy. crazy. All right guys, so it is even closer at this point. We are on our last roll. 
The current score is Debo with 64 and Quinn with 61. Let me just scooch this over a little more so we can get them evenly here. And we are on our last rolls of this box. What an amazing box. And uh, just a crazy twist ending there. So here we go on to the last roll and we'll see what pops out. You know what the crazy thing is though? If, if I pull a 1940s coin here, I will be one ahead. Well, let's hope that that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and of course that also has to mean that you find nothing, which, you know, we'll, we'll see. But uh, okay, it looks like I don't really have anything here. So. Eh, it's hard to tell. I'm, we haven't flipped those edges yet, so let's just uh, keep moving through it, guys. I'm about halfway through at this point. I'm just seeing a bunch of 2020s and 2021s. Oh, man. Okay, I need to find something in this roll. And I'm not seeing anything yet. Anything on your side? Nothing. Okay. Still more 2020s and 2021s. And are we going to get something here at the last <laughs> minute? If I don't find anything, you have the victory with that low mintage buffalo, guys. We're down to the last 10 coins here, it looks like. I see a 2019. Almost thought we had a 2009 there. Uh, last four coins. And here is our last hope right here. This one looks a little old. What is the year going to be? No, it's a 76, guys. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what an amazing hunt. I don't see anything coming out on your side either. Nah. Unless you have a 2009. No. Let's flip these last two to make sure. And nope, that's it guys. Final score, Debo 64 and Quinn at, with all of these different coins at 61. <laughs> so look at this. This is, this is your uh, list right here. It actually kind of reminds me, we, we've been playing dominoes recently. And oh, uh, it's like when you get a train on dominoes, this is a super tiny train, the 50 point coin right there at the end, unbelievable. You gotta show that again. We yeah. gotta see that. Oh, this is unbelievable. Let me zoom in on that. 1934, clear as day. That's definitely don't need to put a uh, nick -a date on that to see that one. And then if you take a look down there, in between the E and C on five cents, that's definitely a Denver mint mark. So you got that with the 1934 Denver. Unbelievable, guys. What do you have to say? I, you see, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm excited, I'm happy. So what does that mean? Does that mean you get to cook dinner or something? Oh, I suppose. <laughs> I, I, I can definitely do that for you. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked because, guys, we were talking about, like, getting a V-nickel at the end there. That was just a joke. And it turns out that a low-mintage buffalo nickel is worth the same amount of points as a V-nickel. And that's what happened. I got it. That's how it came out. So. I did it. Nice job. Thank you for the competition. That was a really, really entertaining one. I hope you guys enjoyed that as well. All right, guys, I just grabbed my 2020 red book and uh, flipped over to the Buffalo nickel page and check this out. So 34 Denver right there. It comes in at 7.48 million in good four condition worth a buck 50. I think this is definitely... Oh, right here. <laughs> I think this is probably good four, maybe better. I'd have to ask Kevin because I'm not super good at this type of stuff. But yeah, you can definitely tell there's a Denver Mint Mark and it is a 1934. That's probably, I'm going to say maybe VG. So worth, uh, I don't know, about 250. But it's really not about the value of the coin. It's about the fact that we found this in a circulation roll. Just unbelievable. So real quick guys, if you're interested in picking up one of these nickel roll hunting placemats to aid you in your own nickel roll hunting, you can head on over to quinscoins.com. As you can see across the front of it, you have all the different types of nickels that you could find in your nickel rolls. And then on the back side, we have the score sheet, which we used in today's hunt, as well as those key date, low mintage, and low mintage buffalo nickel ranges. And those are really helpful if you find a coin that you're not sure about, like that 1934 Denver buffalo nickel, which you found today. Also, if you want some Quinn coin hat, we also got some on the website too. If you want to look as cool as us while you're looking through your coins, trying to figure out if they're low mintage or not, you can totally wear your Quinn's coins hat. And it's really nice if you're looking at Buffalo Nickels, especially because that is the logo. Check yeah. it out. The Quinn's coins Buffalo. <laughs> Right on the hat there, it's guys. It's my good luck charm, guys. Yeah, my good luck there we charm. go. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to get any of those, these placemats, I got penny placemats, nickel placemats, and silver stacking placemats, as well as the brand new 
Quinn's Coins hats, you can head on over to quinnscoins.com and I'll go ahead and throw a link down in the description below. But anyways, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new because I post new videos like this every single week. Always bring you along with the hunts and having a good time. And as always, I'm Quinn and this is Quinn's Coins signing out and I will see, see you in the next one. So in case you guys are all new here, and in case you guys didn't know how nickel finding works. <laughs> you said nickel finding. So in case you guys are all new here, or in case... In case you guys are new to nickel... In case you guys are new to nickel competition... Well, how the heck did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, there's so many back here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I made it. Nice.